This past October, Snowtrack's television, as well as Supertrack's magazine, got a once-in-a-lifetime exclusive invite to the inner sanctum of Rotax in Gunskirk in Austria. We sent Mark to the event so that he could try to spy some of the top secret information as well as find out what's new at the birthplace of every Skidoo snowmobile motor. Here we are inside the Rotax factory. I'm gonna take you on a tour like you've never seen before. You're going to see how super cool, high performance, reliable and cutting edge power sports engines are built right here in Austria. Ever since the G4 chassis with 850 E-Tech power landed, the industry's been predicting the arrival of a 600 E-Tech R engine with the same physical and performance characteristics as the 850. Wouldn't you know it, Mark arrived in Austria on the very day the first 600 R engines were being assembled. So secret was some of the stuff Mark saw that we can't even tell you about it until later this season. I told you this was gonna be cool. This is the new 600 E-Tech R, the new motor for the G4, 600 MXZ and all its variants right here. This is the first day these motors are being built. We get to see it firsthand. And so you've just witnessed the birth of a 600R E-Tech for the G4 chassis. This is where it happens, a brand new baby engine born and alive and ready to go in a chassis in Valcour, Quebec. The robotic installation of valve guides and valve seat is made possible by using nitrogen to shrink parts before pressing them into the cylinder head. This kind of advanced assembly technology ensures a perfect, long-lasting fit every time. We're in the plasma coating section. This is something new that Rotax has put in that makes it easier to make a lightweight engine. You get rid of cast iron cylinder liners in four strokes and use this plasma material that has to be put on at incredibly high heat on the cylinder liner right onto the aluminum. So there's no cylinder liner per se like cast iron and there's a huge weight saving in every motor. But this is huge technology and obviously a very big investment to put this kind of technology into the production process here at Rotax. Mark was super excited with the lightweight, high durability advantages of plasma cylinder coating and blown away by the incredible size of the machinery involved in applying the coating. Well, guess what? This is Austrian for research and development, and that door is about four inches thick. You don't get in there unless you know somebody. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to tell you some stuff about what's going on, but we're gonna to have to limit our coverage from this point just till we get out the back door of the research and development center. So you know you're getting close to stuff you're not supposed to see when everybody at Rotax gets a little tense. They're tense right now because we're in a prototype shop that's running a dynamometer testing a new engine that's covered up. The dynamometer works differently. It throws the engine around while it's running it up and down through its RPM range. This is cool stuff. Because the operation of off-road power sports vehicles is severely limited in Austria, Rotax has a huge bank of dynamometer cells which run 24-7, 365, testing and evaluating not just new engines, but sample engines from every production line. Mark found the new 600R in one of the labs. So few people know on our side of the pond that Rotax is involved very heavily in Europe in go-kart racing and they happen to be on the cutting edge of the technology that powers competitive go-karts. This is the very first electric go-kart that is competitive with uh, internal combustion powered go-karts. There's little doubt in our minds after Mark reported on the development of Rotax electric power plants for go-karts, it's likely the company is working on an electric power system for other power sports vehicles. This is an amazing spot on the face of the earth if you love snowmobiles. Behind me, is the reason why Skidoo snowmobiles start so good in cold weather. Now, there might be some of you who would disagree with me, but overall, it's pretty amazing the way their four-stroke snowmobiles start in cold weather. That's because that room back there is minus 40 right now, and that uh, prototype snowmobile is covered in ice and is frozen solid, and they'll go through a whole regimen tomorrow morning of running the starter and starting the engine to validate the cold weather operation of it. Another cool thing that goes on here at Rotax R&D and you got to get a look at it at the same time I did. This is super cool. That wraps up the first segment of Mark's excellent Austrian adventure. But make sure you stay tuned to future episodes of Snow Tracks because we've got even more Rotax news for you later this season.
If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.